A brand new month is approaching, and that means it's the perfect time to let go. You can play the 30-day minimalism game and also download our free printable 30-day minimalism game calendar over at theminimalists.com slash game. Enjoy. The Minimalists. <laughs> With youth having unprecedented access to porn over the past 20 years, I'm wondering what the impact has been on these now young adults. Will they experience trauma similar to someone who has experienced sexual abuse? Let's talk about porn. We, we talked about porn of yesteryear. We know about porn of today and it's, you know, it, it's unlimited and everything that you could want to possibly search for. You can make or up a kink. Or not know that you wanted to ever happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, but you could even make up something you've never even seen. And I bet you you can find something, uh, some sort of video to, that that captures that that fake kink. What does porn of the future look like? Well, to answer this quickly and touch on that, mm -hmm. I do think it's not the same as, 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 as a person who's gone through sexual abuse, but look at Tim's email from the beginning. Uh -huh. um, he felt that something was taken from him. Yeah. He felt that he had a tougher time with his own sexual exploration. I think the statistic that the Gen Xers are having less sex than any generation before them is the proof that porn and the accessibility to porn is having an impact yeah. on a generation. So are we worried about the population? Because some people say, oh, well, there's less teen pregnancy. The population is going to go down. No, we're worried about intimacy mm. because intimacy brings kindness, brings empathy, it brings love, which brings better things, right? Yeah. So I do think we're going to see more and more numbers of these types of people growing apart and not having that intimacy, which is where we're scarred. Mm. Porn of the future, that's going to be an interesting uh, thing because what happens is there's men or women that work in an office that delegate the script writing, the scenarios, mm -hmm. and what is needed. Now, I personally believe those people should be white washed out every two years and new fresh minds should come in because mm. when I've seen people sit there for 10, 15 years, what happens is they bring things to us that even we are not ready for. Like, oh. so what it shows me is they're completely burned out from everything they've already produced mm -hmm. and they need to keep pushing the envelope and pushing the envelope and pushing the envelope. And right. the performers are going like, I don't wanna do this. Like, this isn't something that it turns me on. This isn't something I wanna promote. You know, a mm -hmm. lot of women will tell you there's scenes that was asked to do that I didn't wanna do because I don't think it should be out there. Yeah. You know, whether it's rape style scenes, whether it's incestual, you know, insinuated incestual scenes. What is yeah. up with that, by the way? Why that is, is that those so people I'm now? telling you that need to leave those offices and stop writing scripts really? that are just just churning out this stuff that I would say like, you need new writers, you need uh. new people. And I always also, you know, I've gotten to travel to different places to go into these writers room. And I'm like, first of all, most of these writers aren't having any sex. Mm -hmm. So they're the wrong people to be writing. Right. And they're the ones that have been doing it for too long or just like nothing works for them anymore. You know what I mean? And yeah. so then they're like, well, let's bring the stepmom in and the neighbor and, and the girl that looks like she's definitely not 18 yet. Let's mm. put her in pigtails and high socks so we could push that. And uh, you read through these de details, you're like, that's it's those people creating the content. Those are the creators wow. that bring the ideas that then say, we're going to do this. This is the role you're playing. Mm. That's why the only fan thing really popped off the way it did was because more women said, I've been in this long enough where I've been asked to do way too many things that I'm not comfortable with. So I'll just shoot my own content. Yeah, right. So nobody in these, a lot of these women are stepmoms. Mm -hmm. They don't want to play a stepmom in a movie. Right. They don't want to yeah. do that incestual thing that bothers them. That worry makes them worry about society. Yeah. Why are we promoting something that it, we should not be promoting? That's those people. And I think I'm worried about the porn in the future because we, we don't bring in fresh minds yeah. or young people. What do you want to see? Uh -huh. mm. Why are these all older men that have seen everything? Why don't we bring in some 18 year olds and say, if you could direct a porno, what would you write? Uh -huh. How would it go down? Where would they meet? What would the scenario be like? You know, yeah, I'd be intrigued to know what their details would be. Yeah, it's almost, yeah, I see what you're saying about the fear of, of porn in the future because with all the incestual stuff out there, it's like the bar just keeps getting raised. And now there's video games that they're starting to build and launch where oh, wow. a kid will be able to go on and be like, I want this girl. I want her to do anal with that guy. I mm. want her to have a big butt so I can make her butt bigger. Mm. You know, and they can make this girl 
and then this virtual girl can do whatever they want they're never going to leave the room mm. right and i think yeah. i think that's the 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 problem when we you know i think it could bifurcate a few ways here when you go to virtual reality sort of porn um, it's one step away from having you know, the sex android in your house, right? There's, and it, the problem with that is it apes the form of intimacy. Mm. It makes you feel in the moment as though it's a replacement or a, a supplement for intimacy. Nothing wrong with supplements, but when your entire diet is a supplement, mm -hmm. you actually don't get all the, the nutrients need you need, right? Yeah. It's not natural, literally. And so while we can supplement with pornography, uh, when it when it takes place of the intimacy, and by the way, it gets better and better as technology improves, I see that as a potential problem. Where mm -hmm. I see a potential upside is us being able to have conversations like this with someone like Lisa Ann who can talk about the, the, the good and the bad, the nuance within it, and also talk about intimacy. Mm. Because you, know, you may know Lisa Ann from porn films that she's shot but you you may not know her feelings about intimacy and so mm -hmm. being able to have conversations about this say well ultimately sex has to do with intimacy more than it has to do with mere pleasure mm.